Welcome back to Dungeon Master Therapy. How can I help you today? Have you ever DM'd a campaign and then halfway through said campaign you just realized that you've just recreated the Lion King? How the hell did you recreate the Lion King in your D&D campaign? Well, to start off, one of the players was the Prince of the King, but the King actually died by the hands of the player's uncle. Uh, okay. From there, the other player almost died, but then he ended up escaping and was rescued by two bards. Yeah, I'm really struggling to see how this is Lion King. Well, the two bards raised the prince into a mighty warrior, and they went on a bunch of adventures together, so that eventually, one day, the prince could go back to his kingdom and take back the throne away from his uncle. Wait a minute. Yeah, exactly. The prince is pretty much Simba, and the two bards are Simone and Pumbaa. Okay, but that's not, like, a bad thing. That sounds like it could be a fun adventure. I mean, do your players know that it's basically the Lion King? Yeah, it turns out they knew the entire time they thought that I was doing it intentionally, but I wasn't. Okay, then I really don't see a problem here, because you're having fun, and they're having fun. It's a win for everybody. Yeah, you're right, it is a lot of fun, and I've actually been thinking about basing my next campaign off of another movie that I like. Yeah? What movie? Top Gun.